toilet paper or toilet tissue or bathroom tissue or other names it comes by. I've got a collection of them because some of them are quite fun. I mean, this is just a little tiny one, sort of thing to be used in doll's furniture type thing, probably one to a scale. Although actually they just said it was um, a joke item, but it's supposed to be a tiny, tiny little roll of toilet paper. So small that um, it's, a, it's a gag, as you can see. Um, also, still again, much smaller than in reality, these ones I picked up in Japan when I was there for the first time back in 1986. So there's a little creature sitting on a toilet roll. There's the actual size of the papers themselves, which as you can see are not that small, but um, they're certainly too small for a normal human race. So a bit of fun there. And go to the other extreme, the largest one I've ever come across is this one here. Look at this. <clears throat> Look at the size of it. It's actually double the size. It's, you think it's two reels there. They're not. It's one single, very, very wide one. So goodness me, that's the biggest toilet roll I've ever come across, I think. Bar some tissue. Big, big, big stuff. In a more serious use or a manifestation of the toilet tissue was this court case, which I was very intrigued by. There was um, a professor in England who's, who's much, much admired as a physicist, Professor Sir Michael Penrose. So, sorry, Sir Roger Penrose. And I met him a couple of times, once in, in Atlanta and once in Oxford. And his wife was shopping one day in the supermarket and came across some toilet tissue which she needed. She looked at the pattern and she said, oh, that's Roger's pattern he made. A very clever little bit of... Um... See if I can get it in focus there. It's got a non-repeating non pattern, which means when it sits on top of a thing, you don't get the thing lapping into itself and sticking as you're pulling it out. It's a very clever one. She said, oh, that's my husband's design. So she got hold of the name of the company, and they had a lovely day in the press. The press loved this sort of thing. And that's a little bit from 1997, this was, when he was um, taking the, the company, Kimberly Clark, to court. And that's so it's Roger Penrose himself there. Uh, and the toilet paper involved. It was some um, quilted toilet paper, and uh, he used a pattern, and his writ said it uh, confirmed it, and he got a compensation for it. So, there's a serious part of um, things happening in toilet paper. That was a particularly interesting one, though, for me, because I did know the man who invented it. Huh. <laughs>